hey um i just wanted to make a video about some stuff that i really wanted to talk about just keep it real uh, i'm eight weeks out post-op the vertical sleeve i had it on june the 13th 2011. um i'm still not at home yet but i decided to go ahead and make a video um just a minute The first thing that I want to talk about is being on birth control after the surgery. I haven't been on birth control since, uh, I want to say like December 2009. And one thing that I noticed right before I had the surgery, like the first, the last two or three months that I did have my cycle, it actually started to straighten out and it was coming each month. But after I had the surgery, it has been so weird. This These past two months, it's like I got one and then maybe three weeks later, um, I got one again for like three or four days. And then, I don't know, it's just weird. It's not the same at all, but I plan on going to my doctor. I have an appointment for about, I think in about two weeks. And I'm gonna go and ask her about it and see what's going on. Um, but if you have any input or any information about it, you can leave me a comment or whatever. Uh, but that's one thing is birth control. I know I do not want the shot because I've seen too many people gain weight with the shot. Um, but I'm looking for a pill. <laughs> uh, the second thing is, it may be kind of funny to some people. My mom thinks it's funny, but I'm 25 and I really have this fear of excess skin. And one area of my body that I'm concerned about is my breasts. I've seen so many videos and everybody that had like some double D's before, they're like, you know, it's gone. It's full of skin. Your bra is nothing, you know, full of skin. But I really have that fear. But I did watch someone's video. I forgot who it was. But they wanted to know where to get good support bras. And I would say if you want a good bra, at least one is going to be either $32.50 or $36 or $38. But go to Lane Bryant. You can order them online. But I wouldn't order online if you never bought one from them before. I would actually go in the store because the sizes are crazy. Because in some bras, I can wear a double D. Some is a triple D. And some, I mean, it's weird. But if you go in there, you will find a good support bra. I mean, they will sit up. <laughs> But um, go to Lane Bryant, some good support bras. I actually bought two of them because I think once I hit maybe like 30 pounds out, I could see the difference. My breasts are like really, really soft and they were getting smaller. And um, I wish I would have bought the length that's around uh, maybe an inch or two smaller because I bought those bras maybe Oh, it hasn't been that long. I'm going to just say three weeks ago, maybe. And now, I think I got like a 40... I want to say like a 44 double D. And now, the uh, part that goes around you, it's loose. And I'm like, oh my God, I wasted my money. But I think I'm going to probably, after this, is just really stick with some good sports bras that I can, you know, fit... I can buy to where they fit really, really tight. So when I keep losing, I can at least stay in them a little bit longer. Um, let's see. Let's see. The next thing is... If you watch my last video, you'll see that I'm only eight weeks out, which is two months. And I'm already down 58 pounds. Um... And so now I'm really starting to see the shape that I have, that I have, that I really haven't seen in a long time. And I'm really bottom heavy up top is where I'm losing a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of my weight. And I see, you know, the hips coming out and the booty and all of that stuff. So I'm really, really liking it. But I do want to know if anyone has any exercises like for your thighs or your arms um that you you know thing help you or whatever can you please like leave me a comment or send me a message telling me what you do or 
where I can find it because usually if I exercise at my house after I leave the gym I'll come back home and I'll exercise but I actually get here on YouTube and I'll just type in you know like thigh exercises or arm exercises and I'll do it you know watching watching on YouTube you know like I'm watching TV but um, please let me know about that um, I'm gonna move on <laughs> oh this is one thing I've never had a problem meeting people as far as like the opposite sex, but I have noticed that lately when I go to the store, more and more people are looking like, I'm not trying to be conceited. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody can understand, but um, it just so happened I went to AutoZone a few days ago because I needed to get my inspection sticker for my car it was out. So I had to go get um, a hot beam bulb and a bulb for my license plate in the back of my car. So I had to go to AutoZone and I got the bulb and there were two men in there. And I'm mean like, oh my gosh, they were staring, staring, staring. And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell are you looking at? You know, if you're going to look at me, say something. And I mean, and I started to think to myself, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is what <laughs> everybody's been telling me, you know. But I don't know, I'm just that kind of person. I know people are gonna look, but I like it. If you're gonna look at me, say something, you know? And then I'll be, you know, much better. Cause if you don't say anything, you're looking at me, then I'm like, why are they looking at me? What are they thinking about? You know, this, this, and this. But anyway, that was experience. And then once they left, I went outside and I let the man put the bulbs uh, in my car, in my car. And I went back in and there were some younger guys and they were looking and doing the same thing. And I'm just like, you know what? Hmm, I kind of like this. I remember this, which people did it before, but I guess when you start shedding the pounds, your self-esteem goes up. Other people notice that. And, um, you know, your confidence is much higher and they can see it and they like what they see and you know if you dress right keep yourself up I mean everything is good with it uh, but anyway that's one thing that I really want to talk about is that I have noticed people you know looking a lot more I've been getting a lot of more compliments but and that leads into my next thing is relationships even like sex after surgery but um, I really don't want a relationship right now because last year I was uh, engaged and that kind of went down and I guess he really wanted to be a player and this, this, and this and, uh, you know, we broke up and he got with somebody else and as soon as he got with her, he wanted to come back and I was like, nope. I always told him, you know, you want to go out here and play, you go ahead and play but you're not going to play with me. and. You think the grass is green on the other side, and it's not, and that's exactly what happened. He thought he had some green grass on the other side, and he didn't. So when he went over there, he wanted to come back over here to the green, gar green grass, and it's not going to work like that. But anyway, um, I have been on a few dates, and I really don't let it go past that point. I have noticed myself like, guys will give me a compliment or you know say something real sly and you know smooth and I'll be like you know what I ain't trying to hear that game I ain't heard it before I ain't trying to hear it again but um I don't know maybe I should change my attitude on that because I do want to get married one day and if I think like that I won't have nobody but um <laughs> anyway I just want to talk about that and people do say that once you drop the weight, sex is better. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's great to me now, <laughs> but um, well, I'm not gonna say now because I'm single, but when I did, it was great or whatever. But um, I just wanna know if you're not too shy, let me know if it's really true or not, you know. As far as, I don't want to say it gets better, but maybe you can do more things. I don't know. But um, I will soon find out. <laughs>
But one thing I also want to share with you, I have my spire with me again, and each day I write down what I eat. And actually, I marked the day down. Let me go back and find it. On... Oh, maybe I lied. But I got to the point where like I would eat I would eat certain food and it just would not sit right at all. So I actually went back to the basics. I went back to jello, I went back to broths and you know, I stopped eating like chicken breasts and things like that. And now I'm trying to add it back in, but um I thought I wrote the date down so I could tell you what tell you all when I started back doing that. But I guess I didn't write it down. Oh, here it is. On July the 30th, which is like two weeks ago or something like that, I had went back to basic because, I mean, I was eating like, I would get like little chicken nuggets and I would eat two of them and that'll be a meal for me. Um, but then it got to the point like I would bake chicken breast or like grill it. And I mean, it just would not sit right at all. So I just went back to basic. Oof, I'm sorry, my screensaver came on. But I went back to basics because I got tired of feeling, you know, like I wanted to throw up. And one thing is that I was never sick with the surgery at all. But I've noticed now, all of a sudden, if I eat something, I don't throw up. But I just had that feeling of it coming up and it goes back down. Comes up and goes back down. And I'm like, oh my God. You know, I hate that feeling. But I actually did... Um, vomit about a week and a half ago my mom made some rolls and um you know how you get the potatoes and you cube them in small cubes and she put that in there um and then to the side she made like black eyed peas so i came to i went to her house and um i got me a piece of roast it was maybe not even an ounce i mean it was really really small and i got me two cubes of potatoes and put it to the side and like maybe not even a teaspoon of black eyed peas and I ate it I took my time I was feeling good and I left her house and I went home and that was probably maybe an hour later because I had went home took a shower straightened up and I got in the bed and started watching tv and um all of a sudden I had this feeling I had to throw up and the uh basins the little round basins like that or whatever that you get from the that I got from I took from the hospital because they charged me for them. They had, you know gave me two of them, so I took them home with me. Um, and I used to keep one in my living room, and one in my bedroom, because after surgery when I got home, I was either in the living room or the bedroom, and I walked back and forth all day or whatever to stop from getting blood clots. But anyway, I still have them, and I still keep one in my room. I don't know where the other one is, but um, I. I'm sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, anyway, I got home and I felt like I had to throw up and I grabbed the basin and all of the food came up. And what's so crazy, it's not like it was still the chunks of meat. It had already broken down, but I mean, I just threw, it was not a good feeling. I threw up everywhere and I mean, ugh, I hated it. But anyway, let me go ahead and give you examples of what I can eat now and I cannot eat a lot at all. But let me hurry up before the video runs out. Okay, on this day, um, August the 12th, that morning at 9.30, I had like five almonds. At 10 o'clock, I went and worked out for an hour and a half, and I drank um, eight ounces of Gatorade. I bought the big Gatorade, but I'll break it down to smaller little bottles that I bought. I worked out for an hour and a half, had a Gatorade. At 11.15, I had some water. At 4 o'clock that evening, I had a few Frito chips, which I know that's bad, but I had a few of them. And then at 6 o'clock p.m., I had 10 ounces of Gatorade. At 9.30 that night, I had one salmon patty, like mackerel, if you know what that is. I had one of those. And at 1.30 in the morning, I don't know why I was up that late, but at 1.30 in the morning, I had 8 ounces of water. But, I mean, I can barely really eat anything. Like, I'll pinch here and there. And, like, when I'm at work, I work 12-hour shifts. And all day, I drink, drink, drink. And at lunch, like yesterday, I only ate, like, maybe eight grapes. And that was it. And then when I came home that evening, I had maybe one and a half ounces of spaghetti. And that was it. But 
this video is gonna end so i'm gonna have to make another video later thank you all bye